Hey, what's going on guys? Rick Sharp here. Um, shooting a video today about the struggles that young men are facing getting started in the world. Um, coming out of school, that 17 to 24 year age group where they're trying to figure things out. Um, and I think a lot of people would agree they're not exactly set up for success in business, relationships, finances, things like that at that age. Um, and there's a lot of evidence of that. You know, the word masculinity has taken on new meanings. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Some people are wanting the men of old, you know, like uh, future or generations past to come back. Um, some people believe we should do away with, you know, masculinity altogether. Um, there's a lot of societal pressures for young men these days. There's a lot of stuff that comes from you know, politics, social media, what's going on in the world. Uh, a lot of fingers are being pointed and there's a lot of confusion. So what I'm trying to do is help men avoid some of the mistakes and kind of have a springboard to, to launch from, right? So hopefully if more young men are taking care of themselves, we can lower the suicide rate the crime rate, sexual assault rate, fatherless households, poverty rate, um, you know, corruption, apathy. All it takes for evil is to succeed is for good men to do nothing. And we're seeing too much of that, right? And the first place to start, I mean, there's lots of things we need to cover. The first place is always going to be with your mindset. Um, you know, if you, if you doubt yourself, you're not going to try as hard. So, you need to acknowledge the fact that most of the things you've been taught aren't going to help you. And that's, that's true across anything. You look at a lot of college grads when they start off in their jobs, right? And they, they figure out that the degree they had didn't exactly teach them everything they needed to know. They start off with a piece of paper and no experience all right so same thing's going to happen here um, you need to be able to sift through what conditioning you've had whether it's your parents maybe they meant well and screwed up somewhere along the way or maybe they didn't care i mean that happens too um, but it's time to put all that behind you and say you know the past is the past people have started under worse circumstances than you than you've experienced no matter what you've experienced I can guarantee you that someone's had it worse and they've been able to rise to prominence and, and do great things in the world. So there's no reason that you can't, okay? Um, and some of it, some of it's on purpose to keep people down, you know? There's a, there's a story that I like, uh, a guy named Jim Rohn, who if you're not familiar with Jim Rohn, you know, look him up after this. He's actually was um, Tony Robinson's Tony Robbins mentor and was who helped get him going when Tony Robbins first started he was just teaching a lot of Jim Rohn stuff attended all of his seminars and that's how he got started so that's that's a really good story too um, seeing someone who started out at a low place and, and has had massive success and made a big dent in the universe uh, whether you like him or not you can't deny that he's, he's done a lot um, and one of the stories that he tells, that Jim Rohn tells, is about your cup of coffee, right? Because what happens if you leave your cup of coffee unattended and your worst enemy comes up and puts sugar in it? You're just, you're going to have a sweeter cup of coffee. What happens if you're best friend or your family member or someone comes along and accidentally drops strychnine in your coffee and you drink it you're gonna die so not everyone basically the, the moral of that story is is guard what gets into your mind right your cup of coffee is a metaphor for your mind in this case your worst enemies might be telling you things someone that you perceive as an enemy might be telling you things that are actually true about yourself maybe you need to look into that are you really whatever they're accusing you of being? It, it might be true. And sometimes your best friends and family think they're doing what's in your best interest. 
and they're poisoning you instead. So it's up to you to filter out, keep an eye on what gets into your brain, you know, from music lyrics to news to social media. If it's not helping you, just tune that stuff out, okay? Um, that's basically the moral of that story. And ultimately, it's up to you to make the necessary changes in your life to move forward. You know what you want to do. You have a vision in your heart, in your mind, whatever. Like You, you know that you want to do great things. Don't expect other people to support you. All right, your vision is your vision. It was put on your heart and not your not your family's, not your friends, not your girlfriends or whoever's, right? It's it's your vision. Don't expect them to understand it. It's not theirs. Okay? Another story real quick, a guy who's been a mentor to me. He started off really poor. And he had started to to find some success. Um couple of businesses and he was on his way to being a millionaire by 25 in in real estate and he had a brilliant idea he, he had a new vision for his future and as he was talking to his family about switching gears they're like man no one in his family had ever been as successful as he had by his early 20s already they were trying to, to talk him down from it and his sister who is a polar opposite from him he's an entrepreneur do it yourself, go out, you know, make a dent in the world yourself, do your things. His sister is successful, but she's more of a play it safe. She's got a job, a career, and is working on someone else's schedule. And there's nothing wrong with it. You don't have to be an entrepreneur or a business owner or whatever, right? You, you do what, what suits you. There's nothing wrong with having a good job and helping someone else, you know, being a team member to help someone achieve their dream. All that matters is that you're creating value and you'll get compensated for the value that you put out there. But his sister loved him very much. She loved him so much that she drove three and a half hours to have an intervention with him to talk him out of this new um, business venture that he was planning on taking. And luckily he didn't listen to her because over the last 20 something years, he has changed multiple people's lives. Um, you know, he's been compensated well for it, but his biggest thing is the impact he's making. He wasn't making an impact buying and selling homes. He was making money, but he wasn't making an impact. And now he's affecting people's lives for the better. And that's way more fulfilling. And, of course, it's financially rewarding, but it also fulfills his spirit. That's what he wanted to do, and he found success with it even though the people who love him the most thought they were helping him by trying to talk him out of it. So point is, don't expect to be supported because you won't be. But don't let that hold you down. Don't let that deter you. You know? And ultimately, like I had said in the beginning, your mindset's the biggest factor here. All right? If you have a limiting belief that because of where you're from or things that have happened to you or how you look or whatever that you're not going to be able to do well then when you go out to perform you're going to sabotage yourself you're going to go oh I can't do well you're going to have a a doubting approach to it and you're going to perform basically a self-fulfilling um, prophecy you're going to go out there and perform poorly kind of on purpose just to prove that you were right and if you know that nothing can stop you and that you're going to succeed at all costs, even if you get your butt kicked the first couple of times, you're going to keep going. The amount of effort you put into it is going to be affected by your mentality of success or failure. So I'm going to leave it there. It's just a little under 10 minutes. I know my attention span is, is short. Um, 10 minutes is about the limit for me. So hope you guys are doing well. Um, I care a lot about you. I care about the future of the world that my children are going to inherit. And uh, I'll be putting out more of these, all right? Love you guys. See ya.